I'm going to show you how to make a battery with some lemons and a potato here. This is one of the simplest experiments you can do with electricity and food. I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut two slits right here in either end of my lemon here. And lemons probably make the best batteries because they have some acid in them which helps conduct electricity a lot. That's why, uh, that's why we have acid in batteries. And then I'm going to take I'm going to take my battery here, which is, which is just like a 9 volt battery, and I'm going to take the positive ends, and I'm going to connect it up to a copper penny. And I'm going to take that penny, and I am going to put it into one of these little slits that I just cut. So the penny is touching the inside of the lemon, and the alligator clip is connected up to the penny, it travels over to the positive side of my batteries and I've got a connection. Now I'm going to take a silver coin. Um, these are usually made with some zinc in them, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, it doesn't matter. But you've got to use two different metals to get the best results. And I'm going to put the nickel on the other side. And once again I'm going to make it so that touches the inside of the lemon, carries any electricity in there up through the lead, and then, um, and then we've got some uh, conduction happening. And actually what I'm doing, my batteries right now are here. I'm just showing you that this is a, this is a conductor. So let's, let's check it out with the multimeter. We're just checking to see if this is a good, this is a good electrolyte. So I always take the black lead of my, of my multimeter and put it toward the negative side and the positive side. I'm going to connect up the ground. And indeed, it's conducting across my battery signal of 2.5 volts. The amazing part, though, if I remove these, the negative side becomes the silver coin or the zinc coin. And the positive side is now the copper coin. And we are now registering, albeit a kind of weak voltage, we've got a battery that's producing about 0 0.05 volts right now. So, and if I squeeze it and I break it up and I get more juice going, then my voltage is going to go up and it's going to register more voltage. So right now it's showing about 0.22 right now, 0.24, 0.25. Every once in a while you get a really good lemon if you smash them up and you can get about a maximum of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts out of it. But you can see there's definitely electricity here. If I let go, I don't measure any electricity. If I connect it up, I get electricity. And this is what runs the potato clock or a lemon clock, or an apple clock, or any kind of device that's powered by fruit or vegetables.